Jigmeet and I have always been very like relaxed about like whenever it happens, it happens. We never really like try to plan it. Um, and so um, when it did happen, it was very funny because there was a time where I would like like to update him like when or when I got like this might be too ATMI, but like when I would get my period. So at the time I was in the GTA and he was in Ottawa. And I remember calling him and I'm just like, it's been a, a couple days late and I'm just having a conversation. He's like, don't worry about it. Like, you know, it, it'll just like, you'll get it. It's fine. But in the back of my head, like it was like almost like an intuition. I was just like, okay, something feels different this time. And I'm just going to want to check. And he was just like, if you want to check, just wait for me. Say this is on a Wednesday and I was supposed to see him on a Thursday, which is a day later. And I'm like, yeah, sure. No problem. I'll wait. So impatient. I literally went to like a drug drugstore and I literally bought myself a test right away. And it turned out to be positive. And I now I'm just like, oh shoot, like this would have been cute if Jigmeet was actually here and we had done it together. And so I'm like panicking a little bit and I don't want to tell him over the phone. And then it turned out he was supposed to come on Thursday, but then for whatever reason he couldn't come back till Friday. And then Friday comes along and he's on his way back. And I remember um, just being like, oh man, I can't believe you're taking forever to get here. And I don't normally act like this. So he was just kind of like, like, is everything okay? Like, I'll be there soon. And what I had done was I had wrapped up um, like the first pregnancy test and I hadn't done a second one as well. Cause I was just like, okay, I gotta double check if this is like actually real. And then I had bought a third one just so him and I could do it together. And on the way back on Friday, I was like, oh, and don't worry about it. I actually got my period. And so he was like, see, I told you, like you were, you would eventually get it. And so I remember when he got to the house and I was just like, oh, you know, like I missed you so much. I got you some presents. And he was just like, oh, okay. And I remember he opened the first one and he was just like, okay, like, is this a joke? I know you have your period. And he couldn't tell, like, if you don't know how to read a test, it's kind of confusing. It's literally two lines. I'm like, you know what, open the second one. And the second one I had purposely got, the one that actually like literally says the word pregnant on it. And so he read the second one and he just like looks at me, he's like, really? And, he, and it was just like, he was so shocked. It was actually pretty cute. He was, he was really overwhelmed and really excited and happy. I guess I found out end of April, so I would have kept it private till August. By then we had already told like our close friends and family, like my parents knew um, not too long after. I told my sister basically right as soon as I told him. And it was just a lot of like doctors, a lot of people around you will say, you know, um, anything can happen. You don't really, you don't really want to go tell everybody that you're pregnant yet. In the first few months when it was like super, I felt like super nauseous and I wanted to just like everyone to understand why I was feeling a certain way. And I just remember thinking like, oh man, this sucks. I want to tell everybody. But then I felt like being in the public eye, eventually I was going to have a belly. And so it was um, probably best that we um, told people as soon as we could. And um, we're actually do literally like the end of December. So I think it's like 29.